Hi, I'm Piers Ward. You've joined me at Asprey Hall Golf Club. Today's video is me showing you how to use these alignment sticks to disassociate your body like Rory McIlroy. You're watching me and my golf TV. So I've been asked by one of my clients, Phil Moss, to give him a drill that he can do at home to help him with his sequencing. So sequencing in the golf swing is the ability to transfer energy from one segment of your body to the next and to help give you power and consistency. Now in order to do this, we've got to be able to disassociate our body. So by that, I mean we've got to actually be able to rotate our upper body and move our upper body independent of the lower body and vice versa. So that in itself is actually a good drill to do, which we forgot in other videos. But what we're gonna do is give you a drill that you can do at home, that you can break down these movements and really feel the stretches and the strains that actually puts on your body to help deliver this feeling of consistency and power when you hit the golf shots. So, you'll notice that I've got a, uh, a new belt on today. So orange alignment stick through the belt loops. And I'm gonna put one on my shoulders as well. So going into my golf stance, what I'm after here is that I want to be able to move one orange alignment stick at a time. So in this instance, I'm going to start my backswing by just rotating my upper body, leaving my upper body still. I'm doing my best to leave it still. I'm then going to rotate it back and match those orange alignment sticks back up. So we are opening a gap between the top and the lower body. And then from there, I'm going to close that gap. And then the next part of the sequence will be to open the lower body and then to close the gap with the upper body. And then we're gonna put you into a forward shift. So that is transferring my weight fully onto my left side. So the last segment we actually do get the orange alignment sticks both moving together. So let's break that down again. Upper body moves, opening the gap, close the gap, open the gap with the hips, close the gap with the upper body, and then forward shift. Now I guarantee you to start with, this is kind of like tapping your head and rubbing your tummy. You need to practice this in front of a mirror so you can know that you're doing this properly. The sticks obviously make it a lot more visual for you. So if you're a visual learner like me, then you need to get those, uh, those orange sticks out. So again, club goes, sorry, orange stick goes across the shoulders. We're gonna see if we can do this a little bit faster now. So we're gonna open a gap, we're gonna close the gap. We're gonna open a gap, close, and then forward shift, okay? Once you've got that down, we really wanna see if we can put some speed into it. So make sure you start slow, as with every new movement that you learn, must start slow to start with. We always talk about that in our videos. So here we go. Open, close, open, close, and shift. Hopefully I got that good. So Phil, I hope this helps, and I hope this helps the rest of the viewers. It is a drill to give feelings of disassociating your upper body from your lower body. You're not gonna hit golf shots this way. It is just a feeling, it's a drill that's great to do actually at home or even in the gym. So as usual, be social with us. Leave your comments below. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and I look forward to seeing you soon on Me and My Golf TV.